if you look at this month, um, it's month number what? September is month number what? Nine. Okay. And what happens when a, a, a person is pregnant? What happens after nine months? They deliver, isn't it? <laughs> so I, as this is exactly what I'm feeling. I'm feeling like you are about to give birth. I don't know what that is, but you certainly, you are about to deliver your miracle. You are about to deliver your breakthrough. You are about to deliver. So if you believe that you are about to deliver, come closer to the screen and just touch the screen and say, I believe in the name of Jesus. Say that again, say, I believe in the name of Jesus. So what will happen? That's a simple question. What will happen in this season? In this season, God will do something that will make you remember this month for the rest of your life. You will remember much of your testimonies will be attached to in the month of September. In the month of September, Major One prayed for us. Major One prayed for us. Now, my, my biggest worry right this very minute is on those people who are not understanding what I'm saying. Okay, let me say this to you. Do you have your own oil? Bring it closer. If you have anything that you want me to pray for, just bring it closer. I want to pray with you. I hope you um, have brought your, uh, your anointing oil, anything that you want me to pray for, because this month, as I said before, it is very important. It is very important because what will happen in this month, it is what you shall live to remember. Now, I did mention earlier on to say that um, um, there is always something that makes a person to remember something, okay? There is something that God will do that shall make you remember what God is about to do for you. Now, I'm going to read one scripture before I pray for you, okay? Now, this is scripture. Let's go to... Um, the book of Psalm 136, verse 23, and I'm going to read a message. The Bible says, God remembered us when we were down. His love never quits. Now, <clears throat> I just brought something here that is very important to your attention. God remembered us when we were down. Hmm. God remembered us when we were down, and his love never quits. I find this very important, and I want you to hear this again. God remembered us when we were down. His love never quits. Now, how would this month become important? As I mentioned, that God will do something in your life that you shall live to remember. But how will God make you? He will do it by remembering you. Can God remember a person? Yeah. The Bible says God remembered us when we were down. You see, there are two ways how God will make your life to remember this month. Two ways. Number one, God himself will remember you. He will remember your heart. He will remember your prayer. He will remember his covenant, his promise over your life. He will remember everything. Number two, God will make people remember you. Did you hear that? Can God make people remember you? Oh, yes, he did it with King Ahasuerus. He made the king remember Mordecai. The king had forgotten what Mordecai had been doing for his kingdom. But time came when God made the king to remember Mordecai. People who have forgotten about you, what you did for them, they shall remember you. In this season of September, I see some documents which were forgotten somewhere else, the being remembered, some applications where they never even looked upon them, some contracts which were never even taken seriously. I see them being remembered in this month. There will be series of remembrances. God will do, he will use people to remember you, and God himself will also remember you. 
And that, these two, shall make you live the rest of your life remembering what God did for you in the month of September. And watch this. I came here in the prophetic. And I brought good news to you, okay? Because God wants to do it for you. Now, if you believe that God is going to do this thing for you, maybe if I even go there, let me read another scripture for you, okay? Let me read the book of uh, Hebrews 6, verse 10. And I'm going to read it from New Living Translation. The Bible here says, For God is not unjust. He will not forget how hard you have worked for him and how you have shown your love to him by caring for other believers as you still do. Let me read these other scriptures. Hmm. All right. In the book of Isaiah 49.15, New Living Translation, the Bible here says, Never can a mother forget her nursing child. Can she feel so no love for the child she has born? But even if that were possible, I would not forget you. The Lord says even the mother cannot forget her own child. And uh, even if she would, but God says I will not forget you. The Lord right now wants to remember all your prayers, all your sacrifices, all your giving, all what you have done for the kingdom. In this month of September, God wants to remember you and God wants to make people remember you. God wants to make companies remember you. God wants to make everything remember you. And hear this message. I brought this message to you because God is about to shock you and what he will do you shall live to remember. And this September is the September to remember. In this month, you shall never forget what God wants to do for you. If you believe, raise up a hand and say, I believe it. In Psalm 115, verse 12, I'm reading it again in the NIV. The Lord remembers us and he will bless us. The Lord remembers us and he will bless us. Why this word remember is being used so much in the Bible? Because of this month, the month of delivery. September is the ninth month. And we as human beings, God made humans to be delivering after every nine months. Prophetically, number nine is very important because it is a month of, of giving birth. So all the past nine months, you had the labor, you had the pain. You had all this heaviness upon you. But in this month, in this season, God says he has set it apart for you to release. My God, you have had some pregnancies of your miracle, some pregnancies of your breakthrough, some pregnancies of your deliverance. And this is a season God says that you will deliver. You will release. And if you believe this, I want you to take your oil right this very minute. Take your oil the way I'm holding it. And I want you to pour it upon your palm, just like I have done. And I want you to rub your hands, all right, right now, and stretch your hands towards my direction and say, Almighty God, I believe in the supernatural and I believe in your promise. As you have promised this month, I will live to remember. So shall it be. Now take those two hands and put them upon your head. Father, in the name of Jesus, as they put their hands upon their heads, I decree and declare this minute in the name of Jesus that you shall perform something in their lives. You shall do something upon their lives. For you want this miracle to happen to them so that they can give you the glory. I therefore release in the name of Jesus what God you will do for them. They shall live to remember. And I release an unction, a spiritual unction, over your life and I declare in the name of Jesus a giving birth anointing you shall give birth once you have been conceiving what you have been keeping labeling for so many years and for so many months you are releasing your miracle right this very minute and I pray for you that God is doing something and you shall live to remember about it in the name of Jesus say amen 
Say amen. Say amen. Say amen. Say I shall remember it. I shall remember it. I 